dear students welcome to youtube channel learn with gizla in this video of polynomials we are going to take up exercise 2.2 of ncrt and uh, these four type of questions are there in this exercise first one is find the value of the given polynomial at x is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to 2 second question is find the value of p0 p1 p2 for each of the following polynomials then third question is verify whether the following are the zeros of the polynomials that means we have to replace x by the given number and uh, see whether the value of the polynomial is coming zero or not and if it is coming zero then it is a zero of the polynomial right and then we have to find out uh, the zero of the given polynomials in each of the following cases so let's get started now the first question is find the value of the polynomial 5x minus 4x square plus 3 at x is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2 now let us start with the question first of all replace x by 0 in the given polynomial so we will write p0 is equal to 5 into 0 minus 4 0 square plus 3 now 5 into 0 is 0 4 into 0 is 0 and 3 so we will get the value as 3 so when we have replaced x by 0 the value of the given polynomial is 3 now let us take the second part where we are replacing x by minus 1 so p minus 1 is 5 into minus 1 minus 4 Into minus one raised to power two plus three. Now five into minus one minus one four into one is minus four over here because minus one whole square is plus one. Now plus three as it is minus five minus four minus nine plus three is minus six. So value of this given polynomial at x is equal to minus one is minus six, right? Now let us take up third part. The given polynomial is 5x minus 4x square plus 3. Now substitute x is equal to 2, so p2 is equal to 5 into 2 minus 4 2 square plus 3. Now 5 into 2 10 minus 4 2 square is 4, so minus 4 into 4 that is 16 and plus 3, so 10 minus 16 minus 6 plus 3 minus 3. So value of this given polynomial at x is equal to 2 is minus 3. Now let us move to second question. Find p0, p1, p2 for each of the following polynomials. Now there are four polynomials given to us, and for each we have to find the value of p0, p1, p2. So let us take the first polynomial, p y is equal to y square minus y plus one, and let us find the value for p0, p1, and p2. You just have to replace y with zero first, then one, and then Right. Let us start with zero. So zero square minus zero plus one that is one. One square minus one plus one that is one minus one. Right. Plus one. One and minus one will cancel. We are left with one. Then two square minus two plus one. Two square is four minus two plus one that is three. Right. So we can say that p zero is one. P one is one. P2 is 3, so this is the final answer which we have got, right? Now let us take up second part. In second polynomial, we are given p t is equal to 2 plus t plus t square minus t cube. Now we will put p 0, right? So 2 plus 0 plus 2 into 0 square minus 0 cube. So anything multiplied to 0 is 0. So all are 0 over here. So 2 is the value. When you replace t by 1, you will have 2, then 1, then 2 into 1 square minus 1 cube, and uh, anything multiplied to 1 is number itself. So 2 plus 1 over here 2, then minus 1, and when you solve it, you will get 4. Then replace t by 2. So over here 2 plus 2, 2 into 2 square minus 2 cube. Now 2 square is 4, 4. Into 2 is 8. So accordingly, we will get 2 plus 2 and 8 and minus 8 because 2 cube is 8. And this 8 and minus 8 will cancel. 2 plus 2 is 4. So we can say p0. When we replace t by 0, we will get 2. And p1 is 4 and p2 is again 4. Right? 
Now comes third part where the polynomial px is given. px is equal to x cube. Now let us find p0, p1 and p2. So we just have to replace x by 0 first. So 0 cube is 0. Then by 1, 1 cube is 1. 2 cube is 8. So this is the answer. Value of this polynomial at p0 is 0, p1 is 1 and p2 is 8. Next part the given polynomial is x minus 1 into x plus 1. Now again we have to replace x by 0 first then 1 and then 2. Let us start. So 0 minus 1, 0 plus 1 is minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1. Then 1 minus 1, 1 plus 1 that is 0 into 2 is equal to 0. Then 2 minus 1, 2 plus 1, 1 into 3 is 3. So this is the answer. This is the values of the given polynomial at, at x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2, right? Now moving on to third question, we have to verify whether the following are the zeros of the polynomials indicated against them. That means this is the given polynomial and the number which is indicated against them, we have to verify whether this number is a zero of this polynomial or not. That means if we replace x by this number, the value should come zero. Then only we can say it is a zero of the polynomial, right? So let us start. So our first polynomial is px is equal to 3x plus 1 and the number is minus 1 by 3. Now we have to see that minus 1 by 3 will be 0 of px only if when we replace x by minus 1 by 3 and the value should come 0. That means when p minus 1 by 3 is 0, then we say that this is the 0 of the polynomial. So let us substitute x by minus 1 by 3. So 3 into minus 1 by 3 plus 1, 3 and 3 will cancel. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Since p minus 1 by 3 is 0, right? So we can say that minus 1 by 3 is the 0 of the given polynomial. Now in second part, we are given the polynomial px is equal to 5x minus pi and we have to verify whether 4 by 5 is the 0 of this given polynomial. So 4 by 5 will be 0 of this polynomial px if p 4 by 5 is equal to 0, right? When we replace x by 4 by 5, we should get the value 0. So let us replace the so 5 into 4 by 5 minus, now value of pi can be taken 22 by 7. Now 5 and 5 will cancel. We are left with 4, 4 by 1. And now 7 and 1, the LCM is 7. 7 into 4 is 28. 28 minus 22 is 6. 6 by 7, we have got the value, which is actually not equal to 0, right? When P 4 by 5 is not equal to 0, so we can say 4 by 5 is not the 0 of the given polynomial. Now third part, we are given the polynomial Px, x square minus 1. And we have to verify whether 1 or minus 1 or both of them, whether they are polynomial, 0 of the polynomials or not. So let us first of all start with 1. Replacing 1 in x square minus 1, we will get 1 square minus 1. That is 1 minus 1, 0. And then put minus 1. So minus 1 whole square minus 1, 1 minus 1, again 0. So we can say since p1 is also 0 and p minus 1 is also 0, so both 1 and minus 1 are both the zeros of the polynomial. In fourth part, we are given the polynomial px is equal to x plus 1 into x minus 2. And we have to verify whether minus 1 and 2 are the zeros of the given polynomial or not. So over here, let us replace x by minus 1 first. So minus 1 plus 1 is actually 0. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. So 0 into minus 3 is 0. Now let us replace x by 2. So 2 plus 1, that is 3. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So 3 into 0 is 0. Now we can say that both p minus 1 is also 0 and p2 is also 0. Both the values have come 0. So minus 1 and 2 both are the zeros of the polynomial. Now fifth part we are given the polynomial x square and we have to find whether this number 0 is the 0 of the polynomial. It may or may not be. Let us see. So we will in replace x by 0. Now 0 square is 0. 
so since p0 is equal to 0 so we can say 0 is the zero of the polynomial and if you remember in the properties of the zeros of the polynomial we have already say said that zero may or may not be the zero of the polynomial it is not compulsory that zero has to be a zero of the polynomial sometimes it is not right now in sixth part we are given the polynomial px is equal to lx plus m and we have to replace x by minus m by l and verify whether this is a zero of the polynomial or not so we can say minus m by l will be the zero of the given polynomial px only when we replace x by this number and the value of it comes zero now let us start lx that means l into minus m by l plus m l l will cancel minus m plus m that is zero so when we get the value as zero so we can say minus m by l is the zero of the given polynomial now in seventh part we are given the polynomial px is equal to 3x square minus 1 and we have to replace x by minus 1 by root 3 and 2 by root 3. So minus 1 by root 3 will be 0 of the given polynomial when p minus, upon, uh, minus 1 upon root 3 is equal to 0. Let us see whether 0 is coming or not. So 3 into x square. So 3 into minus 1 upon root 3 square. Now, whenever we have square of a negative number, it is positive. So, first of all, it will come positive. And uh, we know that root 3 square is 3. So, we will get 1 by 3, right? Now, 3 and 3 will cancel. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, when we say the polynomial x at uh, minus 1 by root 3 is 0, the value is coming 0. So, we can say this number minus 1 by root 3 is the 0 of the polynomial now let us check with the second number 2 uh, upon root 3 so we have the second number 2 upon root 3 let us check with that so 3 into 2 upon root 3 whole square minus 1 now 2 square is 4 and square of uh, root 3 is 3 so 4 by 3 we will get now further 3 and 3 will cancel 4 minus 1 that is 3 now it is not equal to it is not equal to 0 right so this is not equal to 0 so we can say 2 root 3 is not the 0 of the polynomial so this was not the 0 of the polynomial whereas minus 1 by root 3 was the 0 of the polynomial now in eighth part we are given the polynomial px is equal to 2x plus 1 and the number is minus half now let us see let us replace x by minus half and see 2 into minus half now 2 and 2 will cancel minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so since the polynomial uh, x at minus half is we are getting the value 0 so we can say minus half is the 0 of the polynomial now we come to fourth question find the 0 of the polynomial in each of the following cases so there are seven parts to this question and we have to find the 0 of the given polynomial and how to find it we just have to equate the given polynomial by 0 find the value of x whatever the value of x is coming that will be the zero of the given polynomial right now let us start with the first part the polynomial is x plus 5 we have to equate the polynomial to zero so x plus 5 is equal to zero so x is equal to minus 5 so we can say minus 5 is the zero of the given polynomial second part we are given the polynomial x minus 5 now equate it to 0 so x minus 5 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 5 so over here 5 is the 0 of the given polynomial let us come to third part polynomial 2x plus 5 is given and we have to equate the polynomial to 0 so 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 2x is equal to minus 5 so x is equal to minus 5 by 2 by cross multiplication minus 5 by 2 so we will say that minus 5 by 2 is the 0 of the given polynomial right now let us come to fourth part here the polynomial 3x minus 2 is given and we have to equate it to 0 so 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 3x is equal to 2 right and now cross multiply so x is equal to 2 by 3 so value of x that is 2 by 3 is the 0 of the given polynomial now we come to fifth part where the polynomial 3x is given now equate it to 0 right so 3x is equal to 0 
0 divided by 3 is 0, right? So, 0 is the polynomial, uh, 0 is the 0 of this given polynomial. Now, let us come to sixth part. Polynomial Ax is given to us. A should not be equal to 0. It is not equal to 0, of course. Now, we have to equate it to 0. So, x is equal to 0 by A, which is 0. So, here again, 0 is the 0 of the given polynomial. Now, we have next polynomial Cx plus D, where C is not equal to 0, because otherwise, we will not be left with any variable term. And C and D are real numbers. So, let us equate it to 0 to find the 0 of this given polynomial. So, Cx is equal to minus D, right? And x is equal to minus D by C by cross multiplication. So, minus d by c is the 0 of the given polynomial. That means we have to just equate the given polynomial to 0 and then whatever value of x we are give, uh, getting, whatever the value of the variable we are getting, that is the 0 of the given polynomial, right? So, with this, we have come to end of this exercise 2.2. Hope you have understood all these questions. In case of any doubt, please do write me in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Thank you, children. Have a great day ahead.